Yo, what's up guys? It's Optic Tubar, and uh, I wanted to kind of make this video to show what goes on in the actual making of my videos and what I do, uh, basically my workflow of how I make my videos. And if this is something that turns out to be popular, then I might do like tutorials and so on to help you guys maybe get better at editing and that sort of thing. So um, I usually uh, do most of the work in Adobe After Effects. Um, so once I have my song and I know what project I have and I have all the clips and stuff, I'll pick a song. So I'm going to import a song here. And I make a main composition. So I make a really long composition, like, you know, two minutes. Bring my song in. And then here you can, uh, you can kind of plan out what you're going to do. You can see that the waveforms kind of give you an indication of like, you know, this is the intro. You know, the drop is probably somewhere. Drop appears to be like right here. So the drop's right here. I would probably not use this whole intro part because it's kind of boring. So I would probably start this, the edit like here, do something cool with the intro here, and then the drop is here. So the way I manage the song is if I zoom in here, I can tell that the drop is on this frame right here, that little peak. I would make a marker. I would make a marker here and I would start syncing the uh, the gunshots and the clips to the music. So I, uh, I have a clip here. I'm going to import that. And I always pre-compose my clips. Um, I actually pre-compose them twice. So here's the clip. I would scale it up to 101 to get rid of the black bars. I would uh, then take that into my main comp. So here's the clip. And then I would sync it either using time remapping or Twixter. And sometimes if you're syncing, you might cut it a bunch of times and it would look something like this really messy. So then what I would do is pre-compose all of this once it's synced up. So pretend like this is synced up to the song even though it's not. I would pre-compose this. Hold on. First I would make a marker exactly where the first frame of uh, this whole clip starts. I would pre-compose it. I would trim this comp down. This is kind of the secret of keeping stuff organized. And then I would move this comp back. See now this, this is perfectly synced because we synced it before. And now it's perfectly lined up with the song. So then if I can, I can do stuff inside of this comp, which is basically the actual work of the clip and it would just look like a nice single layer in the main composition so it'd be nice and easy to keep organized so then I, I would just go through and do the whole song sync it up to the music and then the more complicated stuff like uh, you know maybe some cinematics and stuff I would do at the end just because it's it's a lot easier to go back and do a whole group of cinematics rather than stopping and doing a cinematic every time I need one so if I showed you what a finished project looked like, let me open up the introduction triage. I'm not going to save that. This is basically what a finished project looks like. So I have a whole bunch of comps. Um, let me open up one of my main comps. So here, this is what I'm talking about. You can see that this, hold on, let me let me zoom out here. This is basically what it all looks like when it comes down to the end of it. I even have all the gunshots in After Effects, and that's kind of, it's really up to you if you want to do gunshots in After Effects or not. I don't mind doing them in After Effects, so I don't care. Um, you can see my song has a whole bunch of markers on it, and I named markers. If you want to name a marker, just hold down Alt and make a marker and this dialog box will pop up and you can name it. Um, so it's nice to give give yourself reminders of what the markers actually represent. And you can see that that little trick I showed you about keeping stuff organized, this is what it looks like. So this this is a single nice and neat layer. It's one clip, but if I open it up, you can see this actually synced to the music in here. Uh, obviously this is not so messy, so it's not really that good of an example. But if I showed you like an earlier clip here, 
it can get really messy. Like this one, this one's pretty messy. You can see all, this is what the sink looks like. And then in the main comp, it's just one single layer. So I could even do like complicated effects in here and like grab the color correction. And then everything, even the like effects would be color corrected with the same color correction. So that's kind of like a useful tip I can give you guys if you're already editors. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if you're not an editor and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But uh, if you want to learn, I can start doing tutorials. The power of pre-composing is if you look at these layers here, this is a pretty complicated composition. So it's just one layer here. But if I open it up, it's pretty complicated, you know. It's got a whole bunch of elements in it. And imagine if all this had to be in the main comp. So it's it's very useful to um, pre-compose. Um, so yeah, this is, again, this is what the comp looks like. So this is just one section. This is just uh, ZT's introduction part. Um, I, and I would do each song separately. And then what I do is after I finished everything, it's all separate. And I would bring it into Adobe Premiere. You can see I, I would add the intro here, so the pre-rolls here, I would add the name tags on top here, and I would add, you know, the post-rolls. Um, but you can see here are the, the different sections, right? And let's say I needed to go back and do something. Well, instead of rendering out the whole thing again, what I can do is just render out the section. This is a part that I messed up on, and I just had to fix. So I just went in and rendered that small little section out, this section right here. And I would bring it into Premiere and just put it right in the spot that it belongs. And then, you know, it saves a whole bunch of time rendering and it's good to go. And you can see I did that here at the beginning because I had a typo <laughs> in the text here. Um, so yeah, that's my basic workflow of taking all of this mess, syncing it up to the music with markers, and uh, exporting that into Premiere, cleaning it up, adding everything that I need. And uh, from Premiere, I just render it out uh, basically at YouTube, the preset at you know 30 frames a second, about five bit rate. And uh, it looks great. And yeah, that's what that's what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see more videos of me explaining how to edit, me explaining anything to do with editing behind the scenes, this sort of thing, just uh, leave me some feedback so I know. And uh, I really appreciate that, so uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in the next video, peace.